With Instagram's outage yesterday, it made me think of this tip that often gets overlooked when launching. We put so much energy during a launch into our social media strategy and our email list. And while these things are important, if your audience is still small or you're still working to grow your email list, these shouldn't be the only places to focus your promotions during your launch and in your launch strategy. And even once those things are already built, a lot of value and additional revenue can be brought in by focusing on these other places that I'm about to get into. So I'm going to share four other places that you should include some sort of strategy around promotion of your offers outside of Instagram. Number one is client referrals. Past clients are probably one of the best resources that you can tap into during your launch. They've already experienced working with you. They love you. They've got the results they wanted. So their recommendations hold the most amount of integrity and having them refer you or your offers, or one of your services to their network will really help to fast track that like, no trust factor that you need with new leads. It'll help take a cold lead into a very warm lead really quickly. So pro tip, be sure to include a plan to email your past clients a couple of weeks leading up to your launch and offer some sort of incentive for them to refer you to their network. Number two is affiliates. Tap into your network of adjacent businesses and offer them a commission for referring you to their audience. Again, this is going to help you fast track the like no trust building phase because you're able to tap in to the trust and authority that the affiliate has already built with their audience. One caveat around this though is be sure to only do this in launches that you have validated offers. You want your affiliates to get ROI from investing time into promoting your offers. So you want to make sure that the offer is something that is a sure sell for them so that they'll promote your offers in the future. Pro tip around this, make it easy as possible for your affiliates. I like to provide marketing assets, scripts, swipe copies, all the links. I like to package this up into a Notion page that I can share with them so that they're able to go back and reference these materials as they are building their promotional plan for your launch. Number three is podcast. If you have your own podcast, definitely record an ad. You can now insert dynamic ads into your podcast. And what this means is that you're able to insert ads into not just your new episodes, but your past episodes as well. And then once your launch is over, you're able to remove those ads. So if you have a live launch, it's going to be really helpful in removing uh, like launches for offers that may not exist anymore or may not be open for enrollment at the time. If you don't have a podcast yet, I would consider adding to your strategy a podcast guesting tour during your ramp up phase of your launch. Again, this is tapping into the no trust factor that the podcast host has already built with their audience and you're able to build a relationship with a lead much faster. A pro tip on this is when guessing on podcasts, share your free lead magnet or your free resource or your launch mechanism like a webinar or whatever you're hosting instead of directly selling your offer. This is going to help bridge the gap and give the lead time to get to know you a little bit better before you present an offer for sale. Number four is Facebook groups. Facebook groups are still alive and kicking and are a great way to interact with people interested in your offer's topic. These groups are also great for promoting your in-person events because you're able to tap into geo-specific locations. For example, I have a client who's offering a workshop in Los Angeles. So we were able to go and locate groups of Los Angeles that had a niche-specific topic for his offer um, and go into those offers with the admin's permission, of course, and promote those offers. So we were able to tap into the niche and the location that we needed to find. That is a lot It's more streamlined strategy than just posting onto the void of Instagram and hoping that your message finds the right people. Pro tip, don't be spammy in these groups and be sure to provide lots of value by answering questions and interacting with the group before you begin to present your paid offers. All right, so those are the four other places that I think you need to build into your launch strategy when you're promoting your offer so that you're not just relying on the Instagram algorithm or your email list to sell. 